Because I'm super curious. Well, he was certainly a good friend. I felt like he really understood me. Well, used to, anyway. Oh, nice. Where's this coming from? That doesn't make sense. Yes, Goto! Figure it out! Number 18. Or should I say, Tamao-san. I had a hunch about Miss Morimura's feelings. And my discussion with Tamao-san only confirmed my suspicions. Come on, Goto, figure it out, man. Please, she is playing you right now. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I get that. I'm sorry for this. I know it's sudden. I need to talk to you. Did something happen? It's about Mori Morrison. She's oh. been transplanting 426's memories onto Juro-kun. I only just found out. 426? As in the escaped android? No, not that one. She's using the memory data of the man himself. It was saved during the shift. In other words, she's trying to use Juro to create another 426? I did my best to talk her down. She's letting me handle Juokun's treatment now. Still, I don't think she's given up on this. Why is she trying to bring back 426? Well, I've been giving her some advice about it. I it is level 81? where she's coming from, but... Uh, Mori Morrison is in love with him. <sighs> with 426? Maybe she always has been. That's why she wants him back as a human. But she has to know the risks. He's a dangerous man. True, but that's not exactly what she's remembering. Besides, she's the one who killed him. That guilt is still eating at her. Level 81, it's getting closer to the end. Yups, and I summarize level 79. Oh my god! You're, you're making so, su such good progress, Yuki. That's amazing. And also, you're still working on Shadowbringers. Wait until you get to the end of Shadowbringers and get to Endwalker. Oh my god. I cried so much. Like, I, 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 like, I cried a little bit towards the end of... Uh, the Dragon Sung War, like during uh, the patch after um, Evan's Word. I didn't have much emotions going into Stormblood, but like Shadowbringers, I cried at the end, and then, then Walker, I cried a lot too. In fact, uh, Shadowbringers, I cried at the end, and I cried again uh, at the end of the patch cycle, like the 5.3 patch. Oh my god. Watch over Mori Morrison. And try to keep her away from Juro-kun if you can. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Yes. I can barely take the idea of one four two six, let alone two. Exactly that moment. That's crazy. Go, please figure it out, man. So I was right. Miss Morimura did have feelings for someone. Are you in love with Morimura? Jota? When Juro Izumi lost his memories, you aimed to use him to revive 426. Make one a vessel for the other. <laughs> one reason seems most likely. You harbored romantic feelings for him. Me? <laughs> With him? You're joking. That Chihiro Morimura was mind-hacked, remember? You said so yourself? If you recall, I suggested that Miss Morimura was mind-hacked. That idea was based on a certain piece of evidence I found. One particular log. What log? If you really are Miss Morimura, then you should already know. Two years before you were born, 
Edison extracted some information from 426. Is she not? In turn, led to the discovery of the data log in question. Is she not Morimura? See, there it is, Yuki. Yeah, you did it. Gonna make some dinner. I'll be right back. Gotcha. As for the log itself, it contains footage from the year 2188. It was found buried in the mainframe data during the analysis of 426. <sighs> You seem very disturbed by me seeing that file. So much so, in fact, that you ended up deleting all of your logs. Would you mind telling me why you did that? I don't know. I don't remember. Well, at the very least, its contents suggested a connection to 426, or even that he had been manipulating Miss Morimura. The log contained a very interesting report. Apparently, Juro Izumi downloaded memories onto Chihiro Morimura's clone. Oh? Man, Goto is like... Please! He's doing such a good job! This is Tetsuya Ida. Don't know why I'm recording this. Nobody's going to hear it. Still, might as well. Not like I have anywhere else to share this. I was in the middle of a routine bug regression test, and I noticed part of the final phase had been altered. The change was made in Chihiro Morimura's host. The setting change looks like it'll trigger a memory overwrite. I don't know anything about the memory's contents, but it says the modifying user was Juro Izumi. Because someone thought it'd be a great idea to give that guy senior admin ID. And at this point, what the hell can we do about it? At least now I have proof. You're all hypocrites anyway. Yes, including you, jackass. So who even cares anymore? None of this matters. We're all dead anyway. <sighs> The log inconveniently revealed one of your secrets. One you were desperate to keep me away from. So you deleted it. That's my theory anyway. Remember where this all began? It was the compatibility experiment. The one that produced you. Based off Miss Morimura's footage and your own admissions, I've completely misjudged the situation. All this time, I believed you were her. But even from the very beginning, you've been your own person. So, what are you saying? I'm not Chihiro Morimura? If I'm not a duplicate of Chihiro Morimura, then who exactly do you think I am? You are Chihiro Morimura. Well, there you have it. No. Not Miss Morimura, the teacher. Professor Chihiro Morimura. The one from the year 2188. And the central figure of Shikishima's interstellar development project. Whoa! Oh my god, really? Um... The overarching plan was altered so that Chihiro Morimura's host would undergo a memory override during the final phase, uh, final process of Project Arc. This year, Ida discovers the deviation along with the fact that Izumi is the one who authorized the change. Upon realizing the distinct discrepancy between Miss Morimura and Chihiro's memories, Goto considers the possibility that Chihiro isn't simply a clone of Morimura. After researching the logs of 2188's Morimura, he theorizes that Chihiro's true identity is instead Professor Chihiro Morimura from 2188. Man, that's if that's the case, that's crazy, because she would be like the only one alive from that time, I think. That and like the AI, um, from like the Tomi AI that's like a singer. 
For the compatibility experiments, Mormira believed she had transmitted her own memories previously saved in Sector Zero over to their clone. However, she the memories that she transmitted from Sector Zero belonged to Professor Chihiro Morimura. That's crazy. She's been in love with Joe Izumi since she was young. Yeah, we know. Back when their final line of defense failed, one loop ago, Kisaraki and the others tried to shift before the world got reset. Unfortunately, due to an explosion, the data was damaged and could not be fully reconstructed, preventing them from making it into the next world. Yo, yeah, that's crazy. So 426 didn't kill them. An explosion kind of prevented it from happening. That also means that, like, it's been Professor Morimura uh, has been, like, kind of control, like, pulling the strings all along and not, like, the nurse. Aegis activation confirmed. The terminal is completely sealed off. We did it. They've changed targets. The next terminal is just over there. They're is that the final the battle? Can't even let us catch our breath, huh? I haven't hit my operating limit yet, but I'm going to dismount. Whoa, hey, then who's taking point? Pull it together. We don't need orders to kick some ass. Yeah, it's a final battle. Nice. I'd watch an anime of that so much, especially the battle scenes with like the giant kaijus and stuff. That'd be so cool with the robots. Chihiro san. Hmm. Look at that sunset. Just like it was back then. It's beautiful. I'm guessing you were monitoring me with a drone. I have one locked on to you, yes. Their targets changed. They're coming back this way. It's dangerous here. We need to get you to safety. Aw, don't tell me you're worried about me. How about you mind your own business? Wow. You already know how I feel. This is what I wanted. Still. More what do you mean? Can you really afford to waste your time here? Or have you already given up? The invasion is still in its preliminary phase. I've got time. First, I need to get you somewhere safe. There are no safe places left. <sighs> At least, none left for us. We're not safe anywhere. But you know that well enough. You're just losing precious time. Go focus on the job you're supposed to be doing. <sighs> Understood. I'll go. You'll find it safer towards the river. If, hypothetically, you wanted to know. Okay. Wait. As long as we're both here, there's something I want to clear up. So, tell me. You were in love with Miss Morimura, weren't you? Yes. You said she was mind-hacked. But it was more about you being jealous, wasn't it? That's hardly. This may be our last chance to talk. Answer me. Uh, you are correct. Is that what you wanted to hear? That I was driven by some cheap, naive impulse? That I... that I can't think about anything else? And that's why you brought back my memory, too, isn't it? You never cared how you managed to do it. You just wanted her back. So much. I'm glad. 
You really were a slave to your desires. That's the Renya Goto I remember. It means... I don't have to like you after all. Thank you. I think that's all I wanted to hear. Professor, I... You should go. After all, we still have our bet. Although it looks like I'm about to win it. Our bet? Not sure about this. Go to secretly had feelings from Ms. Marimura, however, after seeing a 2188 communication logs between the heiress Tetsuya, Ida, and Goto, he suspects that Marimura's memories were overridden by 426. In addition, Marimura's sudden change of behavior has raised the suspicion further. Yeah, we know. And Yuki. When Ikaju appears, she declares to the team that she can, that can relax now that she's taking the field. Okay. That's it? Then that's it. I'm here, but this suddenly makes me feel so nostalgic. Sunsets will do that, I find, regardless of time period. Yes, but this must be, well, I suppose it must be one of those places. What do you mean, one of those places? So, where am I going? I've rented an apartment under a false name. Can't be any worse than our last accommodations. As long as it's not rubble, I'll take it. My apologies. If it's any comfort, I'm certain nobody will find you there. Not Shikishima, and certainly not Miss Morimura. I suppose we have Ida-san to thank for all this. The funds and paperwork he prepared were invaluable. Tetsuya Ida. And he's still missing, is he? Yes. Let's go. So weird. <laughs> She's so old in the in the body of like such a young girl. Shiro-san. You think I'm the professor? That is what I said. You are Professor Chihiro Morimura, a major figure in Shikishima in the year 2188. 
namely the leader of its space initiative. What are you even talking about? Just some hypotheticals. A possible interpretation of the evidence I found. We're back here, okay. okay. Say I am the professor. Remember, Miss Morimura is the one who created me. You think that was her plan? She wanted a host for the professor and not herself? How would that make sense? Ever since the battle that ended with the Sentinels infected, Miss Morimura has been pushing this operation as one of its fiercest supporters. Mm hmm This refers to the humans who can control the UFO's mainframe. Those compatible have nanomachines implanted in their bodies. Oh, that's why she 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 couldn't control the UFO anymore, and so she wanted like a, somebody that could, and that would have been her. Miss Morimura ran an experiment to grant her clone compatibility. She believed that you were synchronized to her. <sighs> she believed it was her own data she transmitted. But it was the other Chihiro Morimura in Sector Zero. And of course, you entered the world as a newborn. Incapable of verbal communication. So Miss Morimura never realized her mistake. This is all speculation. Certainly, yes. But if I'm right, and you are the professor, I imagine you were in quite a panic yourself. All things considered, it was a staggering deviation from the original plan. What original plan? Hmm. Among the logs from 2188, one of Tetsuya Ida's noted that he'd found an anomaly. Chihiro Morimura was set to undergo a memory transplant in the final phase. And the final phase, well, that would be us. I don't know where you think you're going with this. A bit of patience, please. There's a little more context I need to provide. I don't know what. A bit of patience. There's a little more con. Yeah. Future logs. The log from the future I saw first. That would be the comms log I found with my own ID. The first log I checked held some surprises. The author seemed to be an elderly Renya Goto. And the date oh, of the true appeared to be 2188. I assumed it was some future version of myself. One that had time traveled into the far future. But now, I don't think that's the case. I believe it's the other way around. In other words, I myself am a clone of him. Yo, that means he's not... He's literally a clone of the old one, like the super old one. So just like her, basically. Every individual I saw in that log footage, they all created clones of themselves. Clones, huh? Oh, uh, okay. So they're all, they're all literally, well, I mean, that we knew somewhat. I just thought maybe they were kind of recreation and not exactly clones. Okay, they are clones. The thing is like, they all have their own personalities now. They're not the same as the old one. I think the only one that's the same as the old one would be the kid. I did like find her. a log that proves this point. What did you see? A comms log between you and Professor Takamiya. Her field is genetic engineering, I note. <sighs> Mia's log. Self-replication on its way to its target. There's basically zero 
zero chance of the tech failing midway through. They'll just keep on going. Probably long after humanity's gone. Glad I came to an expert, then. All that's left is the refinement of the memory cube. The infrastructural storage cell, right? The cube's made up of five identical memory layers. In theory, it'll compare itself to nearby probes and use them as a template for repairs. And if it can't be repaired, well... Fine, one probe down. We've got thousands more. And our passengers? I'll be loading them up with the DNA of all the survivors. I've already got samples and data from all 15. Now it's just down to launching them. These clones will go with all our hopes on their shoulders. By the way... 15. What do we do about him? I mean, after that DNA test. <sighs> we do nothing. He doesn't have to know. What could I even say to him? Not much, I guess. <sighs> Who's him? Fifteen survivors of that colony, each with a clone established to be compatible. Though they grew up in different eras, different worlds. And you, you aimed to replace your clone's memories with your own. That was your real plan. <sighs> right now, I imagine your biggest question. I love that, like the shine of the glasses. How much of that log I've seen. Am I close? Damn, dude. He's going to pull the gun on you. Mind, but also the form of a child. I imagine it's harder than usual to hide your agitation. It's absolutely not. <laughs> now you're just trying to trick me? I don't know. A bit of patience, please. There's a little more context I need to provide. I'd say, based on that log, Professors Takamiya and Morimura seem to know each other quite well. Maybe you'd know something about that. Of course not. Then perhaps instead, Tsukasa Okina? <sighs> Being compatible, that makes one part of his identity clear. He's one of the 15 from the year 2188. Okay. So, any theories? Who was he in the year 2188? Uh, Yo, yeah, who was he? Care to guess? Stop it. No? Then allow me to clarify. That boy, Tsukasa Okino, is Professor Chihiro Morimura's son. What? But not her child by personal conventional birth. The professor donated her egg cells as a young woman in accordance with the policies on population control. Their blood relation wasn't exactly obvious until DNA testing on the clone revealed it. The professor was faced with the truth. He was her son which naturally sparked an inconvenient surge of maternal instinct. <clears throat> However, Okino himself didn't think highly of the professor. He had his disagreements with the project staff, too. When it seemed like her end was near, the professor recorded him one final message. One last chance for him to know the truth. Oh, stop! Yo! You saw that? But how? You'd need a biometric ID match to access that log. So you should only have been able to access your own. My logs and Okino's should have been locked off. Thank you, Professor Morimura. You just confirmed it. She just confirmed it. <laughs>